this tutorial, we'll be looking at how to render a particular component after a set period of time. It could be three seconds, five seconds, one minute, whatever. So uh, it could happen that you are working on a project that you need to show your component after some uh, amount of time. So this is how to go about it. You simply create a state which will hold the Boolean value. So that Boolean value will be modified with another function that will toggle it from false to a true. So over here, all that I need to say is uh, show component. If it is true, then render this component. So let me just put some random p tag over here. So the next thing that we have to do is to get use effect and we want this particular function to run only once. So we simply have to uh, get the set interval which will count, do a countdown and run a function app after some specified um, seconds. So over here we want it to run after 3 seconds. So we simply have to set the time to 3000. And then all that we have to do here is to say show component who we'll set it to true. We can either do true like this or we can simply negate the value of show component like that. Because this dependency array is empty, it will simply run once. So you, you wouldn't have to deal with its changing state from true to false, true to false over time. So let's check out our component. So after three seconds, you realize it shows rendered component. So let me comment this part out so that you see that. So you can count down. And after three seconds, the component shows. So this is how to go about it. You can either do it in the component that imports the item or the component that import the sub component that you want to show after uh, a specified amount of time or you can simply do it inside the component itself so that you don't necessarily have to do it uh, deal with too many variables in the main component so if you were to do it in production this is how you go about it you simply have to do it inside the component itself so that everything will be modular so I simply get this away from here and then put it inside the function, the component function, and then do uh, get the import, which is use state, and then use effect. So this will practically do the same thing. So what I have to do here is to write the same condition that I did for that part. So let me cut this part and then see if show component is true, then show this component. If show component is true, then display the item or the component that needs to be shown. So after three seconds, it shows. So this is how to go about it. So over here, you realize the component is blinking. Instead of this particular phenomena, we simply have to change this from what it is to true, so that I wouldn't have to blink, blink again. So let's refresh. And there we have it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.